Hello all, this is Mahesh Deshpande and welcome to this new blog post. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, the problem called gimbal lock, which occurs in Euler rotation representations in 3D softwares. So to show this, here, uh, here is a demo scene I have prepared for you. And as you can see, there is a camera object here, which is just a mesh object, just to demonstrate you. Currently, the rotation of this object is set to Euler, Euler XYZ. Now, uh, when it comes to uh, rotate the object in any particular axis, uh, the 3D softwares try to do it uh, mainly in three different methods. The first method, as you can see uh, here in Blender, is called axis angle. The second method is called Euler. Blender has got several uh, options in Euler. And the last method is called Cotonian axis method. So all of these methods uh, are nothing but the uh, uh, representations of uh, angles. Now, as far as the Euler uh, rotation representation method is concerned, Blender or most of the other popular 3D applications use a particular sequence for each particular axis. Right now, in this case, for this camera, I have set the Euler axis in XYZ sequence. We can easily change this and select any of the other Euler sequence. Now what exactly happens uh, in a particular uh, sequence, in this case the XYZ, is that uh, the first axis always remain, remains connected to the object's first local axis. And the last axis always remains connected to the global axis. Now when you, uh, when you change the rotation from 3D viewport or directly from numerical control, you will not find any difference what exactly is happening. Uh, to show you that, let me change some angle. Now I am changing the x-axis. So if you can see, uh, x-axis for this camera object is like this, which is also uh, matching to the global axis. Now if I change the y-axis, it is like this and if I change the z-axis it is like this if I select the camera and turn the gizmo on you will see uh, that the current gizmo I have set the gizmo to gimbal so that you can see uh, the exact representation better now if you can observe uh, the z z-axis is currently matching to the global z-axis. Even if I change the x and y, the z doesn't change. The x-axis is perfectly aligned with the object. The y-axis is nothing but parented to the z-axis. Now the power of Euler rotation representation is the ability to change the order of calculations of the axis. But it, this itself uh, creates some issues. One of the issue is called the gimbal lock. Well, what is this gimbal lock? Gimbal lock is a situation when we practically lose one of the three axes. Lose the axis? Yes, we lose an axis. To show you this, I have created some additional rings around this camera to represent the actual gimbal rotation of the camera. Now uh, if you look closely and observe, I am going to change the Y rotation to be 90. Now if you see, uh, currently the X ring, the X axis and the Y axis are, are exactly aligned with each other. If we change the x-axis, the camera rotates like this. If we change the z-axis, the camera still rotates like this. If we change the y, camera is like this. 
it flips so we practically have lost one axis here which has to be like this well is there no way then to rotate this object in the missing missing axis there is a way we can just switch uh, the manipulator viewport manipulator from gimbal to local then surprisingly we get the missing axis visible but still this is not the fix to gimbal lock gimbal lock is still there this is just a representation of the orientation gimbal lock is a problem with rotation not the orientation well it's kind of difficult to understand but let me show you that uh, even if uh, currently the x and z axis of this object are aligned we can still rotate uh, that object in its local y axis or local z axis but the real problem uh, arises or gets highlighted when we actually animate this so to show you the actual gimbal lock problem let me reset everything and hide the rings we'll just look at the camera now let's let's make a small animation uh, initially we are talking about the xyz euler axis and the actual rotations of the three axis is zero zero degrees so let's add a keyframe here add first keyframe then we are going to going to go at 20 frame number 20 and let's add let's add a rotation in y axis like this to be 90 degrees add a keyframe there then go to 40 frame number 40 and add a x orientation keyframe add a keyframe and now at frame number 60 we will rotate back the camera in its original vertical rotation now if we switch to the front uh, keyframe and play back the animation you will see the problem right away whoa I have never intended to rotate the camera like this at frame 0 to 20 it's rotating fine from 20 to 40 still it's fine but from 40 to 60 it is somehow behaving weird now what is happening is that uh, if you look closely here from from 0 to 20 only the y rotation axis is getting animated now from 20 to 40 it is the x which is like which is this axis is getting changed but since uh, since right now the x and the z are matching in gimbal if you see closely there is no this axis present now blender tries to adjust the final keyframe by changing or varying the other two axis right now this particular axis is missing so blender will try to adjust the other two to get to that orientation of the camera so the adjustment leads to this weird behavior see now to take this uh, session further and to show you some more detailed stuff uh, I have made an additional file which is uh, here which is this demo multi uh, in this file I have prepared uh, some camera setups each individual camera has got a different uh, Euler method now for this I want to make it axis angle and for this I want to make it quaternion so now it completes the setup so each camera is having its respective uh, XYZ uh, uh, XYZ uh, axis uh, representation method and now if we animate uh, all of the cameras uh, we'll, we'll see the difference between each uh, behavior of the each camera so now, so now let's select all of the camera switch other layers on I'm right now in the individual uh, origins uh, mode now let's start animating uh, at the frame number one let's add a keyframe idle keyframe now 
now frame number 20 let's uh, rotate the uh, cameras around x i think it is y axis to be 90 degrees like so add a keyframe add frame number 40 rotate the cameras in the this axis for 90 degree and add a keyframe there and add frame number 60 again rotate back the cameras in in x axis 90 degrees add a keyframe now as you uh, already have uh, as you already know that uh, the keyframe wise uh, speaking each camera will look the same but as far as the in, in between uh, in between goes each camera will behave differently so 0 to uh, 20 is fine 20 to 40 this camera is uh, working fine this is fine this is fine and this is also probably most of the uh, maybe not and all the other cameras are behaving uh, weirdly and for 40 to 60 still the weirdness is uh, carried out so does that mean that the y uh, y x c and y z x is the right choice for uh, oil rotations well no uh, the y axis is uh, working fine at this particular uh, event maybe some other uh, maybe for some other action x uh, the primary axis will work correctly and maybe some different actions z with the primary axis will behave uh, perfectly but if you uh, if you go to the quaternion axis uh, other uh, over to the euler axis you will find that there is no gimbal lock uh, no matter which orientation you are using no matter which uh, rotation you want the quaternion axis will behave always perfectly without without showing any gimbal lock kind of issue well then again uh, there is a question uh, is it then right to always use quaternion axis uh, still no that is not uh, the case always to show you that what I have done is uh, I have added small dot like things here uh, which, has, uh, which are nothing but empties and let's zoom a bit and I will show you what is exactly happening with Euler and Quaternion and why Quaternion axis always are uh, or why Quaternion axis are not always uh, the right choice so I have selected this point which is actually uh, the child of this camera when the camera moves uh, it follows so what I want to do is to turn on the motion paths of this uh, uh, point so in object mode uh, select uh, selecting the empty uh, go into motion path tab and click calculate paths so this will actually show the path the trajectory of this point where it is actually moving so uh, it seems to be a perfect perfect circle perfect arc for this point so one by one uh, why not why not add uh, the motion paths for all the empties so select this uh, calculate motion path select this calculate motion path calculate 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 and finally for the cotton n axis calculate motion path now switch uh, switch all of the stuff uh, back again and now if we look closely this particular axis is not particularly uh, arc but actually it is coming back for this y x and z it is the perfect arc like method for the y z x still it is the perfect arc method arc but for quaternion it is not so so this proves that quaternions are not uh, the right uh, right option uh, right choices uh, always in some cases one of the particular uh, method is fine and in other cases the different uh, the other uh, may be fine so i think uh, that concludes uh, concludes uh, whatever stuff i have uh, to show you about gimbal lock and euler cotton in axis 
if you have any further uh, for the queries or uh, doubts uh, you are welcome to ask uh, in the comment section below thank you and bye